Harbor Engineering Harbor and Port, Harbor, Port It is parkly enclosed area which provides safe and suitable accommodation for supplies, refueling, repair, loading and unloading cargo. Port A port is a harbor where marine terminal facilities are provided. A port is a place which regularly provides accommodation for the transfer of cargo and passengers to and from the ships. Port equals harbor plus storage facility plus communication facility plus other terminal facility. From above, it can be stated that a port includes a harbor i.e. every port is a harbor. Wind Wind is horizontal movement of air due to differences in air pressure which are caused by differential heating and cooling. In short wind means air in motion. Wind characteristics Direction of wind usually specified by compass. Frequency of wind is the percentage of the time in a year it will blow from a particular direction. Intensity gives the velocity of the wind. Speed of wind is expressed in knots and wind strength is measured in kmph. 1 knot equals 1.852 km per hour. Waves Waves are periodic undulations of the sea surface. Water waves are generated by transfer of energy from air moving over the water. Causes of sea waves Wind Revolution of the Earth Gravitational force of the Moon and Sun Earthquake Landslide and seashore Tides Due to gravitational force of Sun and Moon there is rise and fall in ocean waters called tides. The rise in water level is called high tide and fall in water level is called low tides. In Mediterranean Sea, height is 0.5 to 1.0 meters. In the Gulf of Fundy, height is 15 to 20 meters. Connected to Atlantic Ocean, completely enclosed by land. It is on the Atlantic coast, tides, conti, types of tides. Spring tide. These are highest tides which occur when sun, moon and earth fall in line. Tides, conti, types of tides. Neap tide, these are lowest tides which occur when the lines connecting the earth with the sun and the moon form right angle. Currents, horizontal movement of water is called current. Causes of currents. Tides. Wind blowing over ocean. Difference in temperature. Turbidity of water. Wave breaking at an angle of a beach. Currents, conti, effects of currents, scouring and erosion. Deposition silting. Increase in corrosion rate. Delay in construction operations. Significant forces on marine structure. Loads on moored vessels. It is desirable that to a large extent harbors are free from erosion and silting. Currents, conti, types of currents, primary current, turbidity current, tidal and wind drift current, wind stress current, littoral current, harbor components, harbor components, entrance channel breakwater turning basin, shelter basin, pier, wharf, key. Dry dock, wet dock, jetty, harbor components, entrance channel, water area from which ships enter in the harbor and it should have sufficient width, 100 for small harbor, 100 to 160 meters for medium and 160 to 260 meters for a large harbor. Breakwater a protective barrier made up of concrete or coarse rubble masonry constructed from shore towards the sea to enclose harbor. Turning Basin It is water area which is required for maneuvering the ship after entering to the harbor and it is large enough to permit free turning. Shelter Basin It is area protected by shore and breakwater. Harbor Components Pier it is a solid platform at which berthing of ships on both the sides are possible. Wharf It is a docking platform constructed parallel to shoreline providing berthing facility on one side only. Key 
It is also docked parallel to the shore which is solid structure providing berthing on one side and retaining the earth on the other. Dry Dock It is a chamber provided for maintenance, repairs and construction of ships. It includes walls, floor and gate. Harbor Components Wet Dock Due to variation in tidal level, an enclosed basin is provided where a number of ships can be berthed. It has an entrance which is controlled by a lock gate. Jetty It is a solid platform constructed perpendicular to the shoreline for berthing of ships. Key It is also docked parallel to the shore which is solid structure providing berthing on one side and retaining the earth on the other. Dry dock It is a chamber provided for maintenance, repairs and construction of ships. It includes walls, floor and gate. Requirements of good harbor It should be connected with roadway and railway. Surrounding land should be fertile and densely populated. Ship channels must have sufficient depth for draft or vessel. Breakwaters must be provided to protect against destructive wave action. Requirements of good harbor The bottom should furnish secure anchorage to hold ships against the wind force. Numbers of key, piers and wharfs should be sufficient for loading and unloading cargo. It should have facilities like fuel, repair and etc. for ships. Harbor area should be sufficiently large. It should have enough cold storage. Classification of harbors Classification based on the protection needed. Natural harbor Harbor protected by storms and waves by natural land contours, rocky outcrops, or island that is called natural contour, e.g. Candle Port, Cochin Port and Mumbai Harbor. Classification of Harbors Classification based on the protection needed. Semi, Natural Harbor A semi, natural harbor is protected on the sides by the contours of land and requires man-made protection only to the entrance e.g. Mondvi, Veravul and Visakhapatnam port. Classification of harbors Classification based on the protection needed. Artificial harbor An artificial harbor is one which is man-made and protected from storms and waves by engineering works. e.g. Chennai harbor. Classification of harbors Classification based on utility. Commercial harbor it is an harbor in which docks are provided with necessary facilities for loading and unloading of cargo. E.g. Chennai Harbor Refuge Harbor These are used as a heaven for ships in a storm or it may be part of a commercial harbor. E.g. Chennai Harbor and Visakhapatnam Harbor Classification of Harbors Classification based on utility Military Harbor it is a naval base for the purpose of accommodating naval ships or vessels and it serves as a supply depot. E.g. Mumbai Harbor and Cochin Harbor. Fishing Harbor. These harbors have facilities for departure and arrival of fishing ships. They have also necessary arrangement to catch fish. Classification of Harbors. Classification based on location. Ocean Harbor. River Harbor. Canal Harbor Lake Harbor Classification of Ports Ocean Port This is a port intended for large ocean-going ships. River Port River Port is located on the banks of the river inside the land. Entry Port This is location where foreign citizens and goods are cleared through Custom House. Free Port this is an isolated and enclosed area within which goods may be landed, stored, mixed, repacked, manufactured and reshipped without payment of duties. Harbor Planning It is necessary to carry out a topography survey of the neighborhood including the foreshore and the depths of water in the vicinity. The borings and soundings should be taken to ascertain the character of the ground.
Breakwater Definition This is a protective barrier constructed to form an artificial harbor with a water area so protected from the effect of sea waves as to provide safe accommodation for shipping. Introduction It is a structure which reflects and dissipates the forces of wind-generated waves. Encloses harbor and keep the harbor waters undisturbed. It provides safe anchorage for ships. Facilitate loading and unloading of cargo in comparatively calm water. The inside of a breakwater when constructed as a key for handling cargo then it is known as a mole. The function of breakwater is to break the momentum of water by means of wave breaker. For sever wave action it is constructed of masonry. It can be made of concrete or coursed stone throughout. Height of a breakwater depends upon its purpose, extent of enclosed water area and the nature of existing shipping work. Height equals 1.2 to 1.25 x the height of wave expected. The superstructure must be designed to withstand overturning forces due to wave thrust, hydrostatic pressure and the dead weight of the structure. Type slash classification rubble mound type Material natural rock, concrete block, a combination of rock and concrete block, and concrete tetrapods and tri bars, or other irregular shapes. For durable rock foundation, rock mound breakwaters are preferred. Consist of three layers. The core consists of quarry waste. The intermediate layer used for protecting slopes and the top of the core consists of rubble stones. Top layer upper portion of breakwater consists of blocks weighing 11 to 10 tons. Vertical wall type Types of vertical wall type breakwater Concrete block gravity wall Stone and concrete masonry. Concrete case sawn. Rock filled sheet pile cells. Rock filled timber cribs. Concrete or steel sheet pile walls. Suitable in following in following situation. Where depth of water is more than two times the maximum height of waves. When seabed is non erodible. Where there are no chances of differential settlement of foundations. Composite breakwater The solid superstructure consists of a key protected by a parapet on the sea face. Provides a platform for handling cargo. It makes it possible for ships to come close to breakwater wall, on the inner or harbor side for loading and unloading cargo. It has a rubble base over which a vertical wall type breakwater is constructed. Combination of mound and vertical wall type breakwater Recommended in locations where the depth of water is great and the foundation is of weak material. Depth of water greater than 30 meters. Wharves. These are platforms at which vessels take on and discharge passengers and cargo. It's a platform built parallel to shoreline. Docks that parallels the shore should give sufficient depth of water for the ship to float. Wharves built parallel with the shore are called keys. Built to retain or protect the embankment or filling. Types of wharves open type wharves. It can be either high level decks or relieving type platforms. It has their decks supported by piles or cylinder can be made of timber, RCC, or both. Precast or pre-stressed slab or beam are economical. Solid type wharves. These are composed of earth or rock fill partly confined by some sort of bulkhead. Depth less than 15 meters, bottom suitable for support of gravity type of structure, steel pile cells are best suited. Cells act as a gravity wall of sufficient weight. Resist overturning or sliding at base. Q. 
key walls wharves built parallel with the shore are called keys. Function To retain and protect the embankment or filling on the landward side. To provide berthing on the seaside. To support the platform above. Jetties Definition a narrow structure projecting from the shore into water with berths on one or both sides and sometimes at the end also. In the form of piled projections. Constructed outside the harbor or inside the harbor. When built in combination with a breakwater then it is known as breakwater pier. Uses of jetties. Jetty is a solid platform constructed perpendicular to the shoreline or breakwater. It provides berth to ships. It is used for handling inflammable materials like petrol, diesel, kerosene, crude oil etc. It can be used for dredging in the approach channel. Types of jetty solid structure It is usually of mound break water type. Used more for the prevention of silting in the entrance channel. Piled structure Open pile jetties Cheaper than the solid type but having same durability can't be used where jetty is required to be very wide. Timer, RCC, steel. Steel jetties are supported on screw piles. Timer and RCC are suitable for large jetties. Piled in cylinder jetties. Piles are completely encased in concrete cylinders. Piles carry loads of whole structure and cylinders don't. Capable of sustaining heavy impacts from ships. Pier piers are the wharves built at angle with the shore. On both sides of a pier berths are provided. Type, open or solid construction. Open pier are constructed over open water on exposed timber or concrete piles. Open pier are used where minimum restriction of currents is specified. These piers are relatively more economical as narrow piers in deep water. Solid piers are built of materials like earth or rock fill. It offer more resistance to impact and wave action. More stable and more economical than open pier. The water area between two adjacent piers is known as slip. Width of slip equals 3 or 4 x beam of the largest ship to be accommodated. No provision should be made for cargo storage. Guidelines, design load equals 30 kg slash CM2, concentrated live load equals 5 ton truck, 15 ton locomotive crane, horizontal thrust on a pier head bend may be taken as 1% of the maximum weight of the vessel to be berthed. Solid pier, pier heads definition. A pier head is a structure constructed at the tip of a breakwater near the harbor entrance. It helps in demarcating clearly the approach channel. It protects the breakwater section immediately adjacent to it. It should be self-sustained and properly anchored. It is exposed on three sides and subjected to worst forces. Constructed as an independent monolith without any step or projection at its base. Provide a vertical joint separating the pier head and breakwater. It should be furnished with lantern or light. Dolphins They are the marine structures located at the entrance of the lock door alongside a pier or a wharf. Uses To absorb the impact force of the ships. To provide mooring facilities i.e. for tying up ships. They are also used to shorten the length of piers and wharves. Types, breasting type. Provided in front of the sea face of the pier of wharf. Designed to take the impact of ship while docking and are equipped with fenders. Also have bollards and mooring post. Mooring lines provided by breasting dolphins are not sufficient enough to hold the vessel against currents away from the berth. Mooring dolphin are provided. Mooring type, located behind the seaward force of the berth. They are provided with bollards or mooring posts and with capstans where heavy lines are to be handled. 
smaller than breasting dolphins. Flexible dolphin are in the form of wood pile clusters of 3, 7, 19 etc. piles wrapped with a galvanized cable. Central pile extends about 1 meter above the other piles. The piles are arranged symmetrically and on a slight batter. Fenders A fender is a form of a cushion as provided on a pier face for ships to come in contact. The fender can be made of different materials in various forms. It absorbs the impact of ship and protect them from damage. No fenders are necessary for gravity wharves. Qualities of good fenders They should have a high capacity for absorbing energies during berthing of a ship. They should be simple in design and construction and easily replaceable. It must be able to resist tangential forces effectively. They should not be easily damaged during berthing. They should not damage ship's hull. Types of fenders, wooden fender. Simplest form of wooden fender are in the form of horizontal wooden member. Vertical wooden piles known as hung fenders are hung from the deck and terminated at water level. The wooden fenders piles are placed away from the deck on a slight batter of about 1 in 24. They absorb energy because of deflection when struck by a ship. Rubber fenders The simplest form of rubber fenders are rubber tires hung over the side of the dock. Draped rubber fenders were originally used as the hollow cylindrical type the fenders should be pre-curved to the specified radius. Draped rubber fenders are supported by wire rope attached to eye bolt set in the concrete dock wall. A drain hole is provided at the lowest point of each curved fenders. Mooring accessories. Arrangements such as bow, stern, spring, and breast lines are necessary to hold the ship stationary with the dock. This is done in order to load or unload the cargo as well as passenger. Mooring accessories. Bollards. This is fastened to single or double bollards which are located along the face of the dock 15 to 27 meters apart with the help of ship lines such as bow, stern lines spring and breast lines. Corner mooring post. These are located at the outshore corners of a pier or at the ends of the wharf. These posts are designed to take greater loads than that on bollards which is about 50 tons line pull. Used mainly to bring the ship into the dock or to wrap it around the corner of pier or dolphin. Cleats. Cleats are used to tie small vessels such as, small ships, tugs and work boats. These are usually spaced about 10 to 13 meters apart along the face of the dock, capstans. It has a revolving cylindrical surface. These are used to wind the ship's line and thus to pull the ship along the docking platform after which the lines are secured to the bollards. They may be pneumatically or electrically operated. Site selection for harbor Great care ought to be exercised at the time of making selection of site for a harbor. The guiding factors which play a great role in choice of site for a harbor are as follows. Availability of cheap land and construction material. Transport and communication facilities. Natural protection from winds and waves. Industrial development of the locality. C. Bed subsoil and foundation conditions traffic potentiality of harbor availability of electrical energy and fresh water favorable marine conditions defense and strategic aspects etc size of harbor size of harbor depends upon the number and size of ships likely to use the harbor at one time 
Some of the biggest modern ships are 275 meters to 300 meters long and about 30 meters wide. There should be sufficient area for maneuvering them without collision. Thus, the size is determined by Accommodation required Convenience for maneuvering and navigation Adaptability to natural features Size of harbor, width of entrance to the harbor The entrance width should be in proportion to the size of the harbor and ships using it. To reduce the wave height within the harbor, the entrance width should not be more than that necessary to provide safe navigation and also to prevent dangerous currents, when the tide is coming in and going out. For small harbors equals 90 meters. For medium harbors equals 120 to 150 meters. For large harbors equals 150 to 250 meters. Size of harbor. Width of entrance channel. Size of harbor, width of entrance channel. The entrance channel width is divided into maneuvering lane width equals 2 B. Ship clearance lane width equals B. Bank clearance depends on the side slopes. From figure. The width of entrance channel for single lane traffic. L equals 4 B plus 2, bank clearance. Size of harbor, turning basin. The radius of turning basin should be equal to two times the length of the largest ship calling at the harbor. R equals two liters. Where, R equals radius of turning basin. L equals length of the largest ship, size of harbor, wave height within the harbor. Where, H equals height of reduced waves any point P in the harbor, M. H equals height of wave at entrance, M. B equals breadth of entrance, M. L equals breadth of harbor at P, M. D equals distance of P from entrance, M. Size of harbor, depth of harbor. The channel depth is generally determined by the following formula. Where, D equals the draft of the largest ship to be accommodated. H equals the height of storm waves, crest to trough. D equals allowance for squat. Ship characteristics. Since harbor is designed and constructed for providing berthing and cargo handling facilities for the ships, it is necessary to be familiar with the various ship features related to harbor planning. Load line. It indicate a line showing the water level to which they may legally be loaded. Displacement load. The weight of ship and its contents when fully loaded with cargo to the load line is known as displacement load. Displacement light. The weight of ship without cargo, fuel and stores is known as displacement light. D, W, D equals displacement load, displacement light. Ship characteristics. Gross registered townage, G, R, T. This is the total measured internal capacity of a ship expressed in units of 2.83 cubic meters or 100 cubic feet. Net registered townage, N, R, T. This is the carrying capacity of a ship expressed in units of 2.83 cubic meters. Dead weight townage, D, W, T. This is the carrying capacity of a ship by weight. It is a weight of cargo, fuel. Stores, passengers, crew, etc. D, W, D equals displacement load, displacement light.